This is Blazers All Access, an inside look at UAB athletics. Presented by Pepsi, a Southern original. And Viva Health, part of the UAB health system. Here's the voice of the Blazers, David Crane. Welcome to Blazers All Access as we go one-on-one -on -one with head coach Andy Kennedy, the green and gold. Had an open date leading into last Sunday's matchup with North Texas, the second go around with the Mean Green. Let's get the Pepsi recap. And coach, it looked like your team sort of took advantage of that that extra time uh, between ball games. I thought it was a productive week for us. When you get to this point in the season, you know, there's a fine line between doing enough and doing too much. I thought we had a chance to heal up a little bit and, and correct some things, get ready for the stretch run. And our guys responded. They were it was productive. They were mature about their their week, their work. Uh, and they knew the opportunity that North Texas presented. We've had a lot of battles with them over the years. Uh, our first game with them in Denton just a few weeks back uh, goes to overtime. We, we were behind the majority of the game. So North Texas definitely had their attention. I thought we came out right from the jump with a good focus. 71-62, the final. You built as much as an 18-point lead in the second half. That's, and uh, against a team like North Texas, if you can get an 18-point lead, it's like an option offense in football. They're not really built to come from behind in, in that depth, are they? You know, they're, typically they're not, but they've got one of the most dynamic scores in all of college <laughs> basketball in Jason Edwards, and I thought we did a great job uh, of, of keeping him in front of us, containing him for the majority of the game. He hurt us down the stretch. We had some foolish turnovers, and uh, he made us pay in the open floor to make the game a little tighter than I would have hoped. Let's get our Viva Blazer of the game. We, we try to spread it around as best we can, but Yaxel Lindeborg makes that very tough on us. We have to give it to him again, a career high. 26 points to go with eight rebounds. He was fantastic once again. Yeah, I thought, I thought the beginning of the game may have been his best offensive performance of his UAB career. I thought he was really, really assertive. He got Aaron Scott in foul trouble. We kind of challenged him. Aaron Scott's a really good player. Uh, for North Texas, who had 20 points, which was a season high in our opening game. And trust me, Yak's heard that a few times <laughs> throughout the course of the week. I thought he took the challenge personally, which is what you want to do when you're one on one. I thought he was terrific out of the gate. We didn't score it very fluidly early, and Yak single handedly built, helped us build a 10 point lead at the half. Uh, got Scott in foul trouble, which I thought was a big turn in the game. My name is George Pugh. And I've been with Legacy for over 28 years. Legacy has been just an outstanding place, not only just for me, but it's been an outstanding uh, credit union for myself, my family. There's not a better place, there's not a better bank. And I'll bank with uh, many, many banks. And by far, Legacy is the best. Craft your legacy. Let's get what's next up for the Blazers, brought to you by Legacy Credit Union. And I don't know if it's polar opposites from what you saw on Sunday, but it's pretty close with Rice coming to town on Wednesday night. Yeah, it, it's definitely different. Uh, you know, we going into the North Texas team, uh, the, the theme was will over skill. You know, it's not going to be a trick game. Both teams are going to come at you. We've got to man up, be a physical team, and I thought we met the phys physical challenge and as a result got the season sweep. Rice is a different animal. We haven't played them all year. We're familiar with them, obviously, but this is a whole new group. You know, only, only four guys in that room have ever played against Rice. Schematically, the way they run their offense through their five-man, Max Fielder, who's averaging close to a triple-double. He actually leads the AAC and assists for a five-man. Very unusual style of play, and we've got a quick turn in that two days to prep, so uh, our guys will have to get on this scouting report quickly. It's a world of possibilities. If you go for a night out with friends, if you can keep an eye on your money along the way, if you know you have overdraft protection with no fee transfers from savings, when you get a low balance alert, it's easier to say yes to fun. If that sounds good, try Regions Life Banking. Stay ready for the if in life. Regions Bank embrace the if in life. Sunday afternoon, we travel down to New Orleans for the second go around with Tulane. But first things first, Wednesday night, it's a 7 o'clock tip in Bartow, 6.30 for pregame coverage on radio. ESPN Plus streams it. You're playing awfully well at home right now. Got to kind of keep that up on Wednesday night. Yeah, nine you? straight in Bartow, undefeated in AAC play. We're coming down the stretch. Only three more home games, man. We want the people to come out and continue to help us 
build this momentum to close the season strong. Hope to see you Wednesday night here in Birmingham and join us next time right here for Blazers All Access. This is Blazers All Access, an inside look at UAB athletics. Presented by Pepsi, a Southern original. And Viva Health, part of the UAB Health System.